just sat down with a high school person that I, I set up an appointment with, uh, Mrs. Cassetta here, and uh, and so I'm going to go over the packet of info. I'm going to assume that I, I it's a new person that I haven't sat down with before. So thank you uh, so and so for spending some time with me. Uh, it should just take a few minutes, but I want to kind of go over some of the opportunities we have with you. Um, as you know before, I'm not sure if you're familiar with cut color vector. You are okay, great. Um, well, primarily, uh, I've noticed in the last few years that the people that we're working with, a lot of times they change over with the different counselors and the people that uh, the people I had relationships with a few years ago aren't here anymore. We primarily work with the colleges, so we work a lot with Chapman, Cal State Fullerton. Here's a letter from Chapman just talking about what it's like working with us as a company. And um, then also I have in here the Wall Street Journal article. We were featured in the Wall Street Journal a couple summers ago about our opportunity. And our, our job, it's not the typical flip burgers full to close job. It has a lot of, a, you know, we offer a lot of experience to students. Uh, something that I actually started when I was a student as well. Um, so we really focus on that. Now in here I have some different ways that we work with students. Uh, one is a flyer of, it basically says what um, we read on the announcements. So a lot of high schools will read it on the announcements or they'll give it to teachers to read to their classes for seniors. Um, the other thing is that most schools pretty much have a spot where they put poll tabs up. The problem I've found with that is most seniors don't start looking for jobs until after they've graduated. And then once they've graduated, they don't come back to the school. And so what we do is we try to work with schools a little bit more proactively and get some things that where we can get something in their hands so they, at least they know about it. Um, uh, they also have a letter back here uh, that a lot of schools like this school, uh, Sunny Hills and Fullerton High School, they leave a stack of these when they're getting their caps and gowns. So they'll pick up caps and gowns and there's a letter telling them about summer opportunities. So a lot of them will scoop that up. Now, you know, uh, you said you're familiar with Cutco and Vector before, right? Um, this last year, the company's made an extremely huge change, and that's with their sample kit. Our, our representatives get to have samples, and they used to have to put down a fully refundable deposit. It was always refundable, but what they've done those last year is they've completely eliminated that. So now there's no barrier to entry, there's no put deposit they have to put down. They have three references, character references they need to turn in, and if they stop working, they simply send back the kit. <coughs> and so what I was going to do is, um, here's my information, and can I get your business card? Okay, great. Um, what I want to do is I'll send you an email in a, in a week or so and just kind of list the different ways we work with some of the students. Um, but these are some of the popular ones that your neighboring high schools use. They use, uh, so we do a senior day with Laura High School, um, Orange Lutheran and Canyon. We both do a, a day where we set up a table at lunch and then those ones work really well. We can take applications. Uh, Laura is actually really nice because they do it at the senior day. Because when we do a normal table, we get a lot of sophomores and juniors come up and we'd like to help them out. We just can't work with them until they've graduated. Um, with the senior day, the seniors are isolated. So also, is there anybody who works with the seniors, like the, um, do they have an advisor or somebody who does like the senior events, like their graduation practice, or um, their uh, you know, senior day that it might be a good contact with them? Because I could also work with them to arrange something. That person, okay, kind of jot their email down on the back of your card. Okay, great. Oh, and then also for you, I have this for you. It's a cheese knife. This is one of our most, best knives. This is my mom's go-to wedding present. You'll love this. Use it for cheese, raw potatoes. It's great. And uh, hopefully every year I'll be able to uh, stop by and uh, bring you something from Cutco too, just so you know how great our product is. All right, I'll give you in contact with you in a week. And then what you do, your follow-up, what do you do? Send them an email. And what's it say on the email? Just forward the email. It, it mm -hmm. was, you know, hey, uh, thanks. It was good catching up with you. It was good meeting you. Um, here's some of the ways that we work with the seniors. Uh, most schools pick a combination of the following. Seven different opportunities, ways mm -hmm. they work with them. And then, um, like this last email I got, she said, um, let's just do this one. And we've done a couple other things with them last summer. So I respond and say, hey, thanks so much. That's going to work out great. One of the things I found, though, is um, when we do announcements in schools, it's great, but a lot of times it's in one ear and out the other. And I really like to try to get something in their hands. Do you think we could also pass out a flyer so that way when they hear the announcement, there's something being passed out to them. That way they can kind of hold on to it. Because a lot of times seniors aren't thinking job until they've graduated. So I really try to do something where they at least get something in their hands telling them about the opportunity. And so I followed up. Even though she said, let's just do this one, I asked for more. And then what about, then if they don't respond to your email? They don't, if they don't respond to the email, I'll call. And that's one of the reasons why I did it earlier. Because last year I did that and I responded. And but they were open to the response. They were like, you know what, next year we'll have to do stuff because it's just, it's just too crazy. Because I did all the visits in May. And then when I followed up with the email, it was later mid-May. And then I was following up with a call. It's end of May. And it's, it's too close to graduations. So now we get all of that stuff done uh, by the very end. Um, you know, try to have all of it done by April. I can call back and get all of it, and then that way all the activity can be set for me. Perfect. Any other questions? Yeah, and one of the things that was typical in our division, what, doing what Ryan did, 
was he would have a list of seven things you can do. And the responses coming back to my not experienced districts were that they would get, uh, you can do, uh, set up a senior table, and we'll go ahead and pass out the letter, the grad letter, at the cap and gown, uh, you know, when they pick up their cap and gown. So they pick three or four things off the list. It's very non-confrontational. The email that, that Ryan has, it's very short. And what a lot of people like to do is pick out a number of these seven things to, that uh, they'll let us advertise. So you all of a sudden, boom, got approval on, uh, on three of the seven, four of the seven. Ryan was getting approval on four or five of the things uh, on several of the high schools. So that's what I think was really powerful is the selling, the email really sells and asks for the order in a very low key manner. It's a really powerful email. The only thing I would change is especially for managers just opening up in the summer, they don't have time to send an email a week later and then send a follow up. So print out that email with the seven options and just do it right on the spot. If you get the meeting and say, these are some of the ways we work with them. Because as a new manager, they're not gonna get a chance to meet with 20 high schools anyways. They're gonna pick their top five or 10, they can close it on the spot and just kind of go there. It's not going to be as, as successful um, because you're kind of putting them on the spot to choose right now, but um, it, you'll get something more than happy. 